I met up with a friend of mine for coffee yesterday. And when I told her that I recently moved here to Paris and I started working for Photo Room, she was like, wait, Photo Room? I've been using Photo Room to take all my product shots for my new hair care line. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Show me your stuff. And she showed me her Instagram page. And I was like, okay, which pictures did you take with Photo Room? And she was like, well, all of them basically. And would you believe me if I told you that Eva took all these pictures with her phone at home with no professional studio or any marketing budget? It's all AI. The one further here and this glitter, it's it's not. It's AI. Wow. I knew that AI-generated backgrounds can be game changer for e-commerce industry, but can they really be that good? So I decided to investigate. As someone who has always aspired to start my own brand one day, I wanted to see if I can recreate these images. So as soon as I arrived at the office, after saying quick hello to Justin. Hi, Justin. Yeah. And trying not to get run over by Raf, I decided to convince my editor, Jan, that this should be our mission for the day. All of this is taking my photo roll. Nice. So as you might be able to tell, Jan is not always an easy one to impress. But when I managed to get him on board, it was time to proceed to step number two, call with Eva. Hello. Hey, Kaya. Nice to see you. How are you? <laughs> good, good. What's the name of your brand? So the brand is called Arte. Our company is like for hairdressers. So I try to generate like an AI background that's going to portray like a luxury hairdressing studio or like a luxury bathroom so that it looks more realistic. How do you decide what the background should be? Because I feel like you're so creative with your backgrounds. I think I get inspiration from the product. Some of the products are based on ingredients which are connected to some fruit or uh, they have a flower scent so then if the product line is connected to a type of flower scent like a cherry blossom or a rose then i would try to generate a background that resonates to that product so maybe the background will be pink and there will be flowers i think to use the ai generator you also need to have imagination because you need to really write down and describe what you want the ai generator to show and sometimes it would take a couple of minutes i might not like something so i will use some negative word because you also have that space where you can write less lighting or like less flowers right so this this really helps we didn't really have like a marketing budget so we had to use the resources that we have which was me and i was the person uh, assigned to take the pictures of the photos and then find a nice editing app so i can make them look as professional as possible so photo room was really the best choice so i showed my editor jan your pictures and he had exactly the same reaction that i had i was like oh my god like it, this is so good like how did you do that <laughs> So how did you find Photo Room? Let's start with that. I remember that I was Googling a type of AI generator for photos. And one of the first solutions that came up was the Photo Room one. I wasn't really aware of how it works. So I went on YouTube and I watched a couple of videos and I saw that this is probably what we need. So I actually subscribed immediately. I tested it. I started editing a few photos and I saw that the AI generator is actually working really well because for my brand, we want to be able to portray the products in like a different setting on the beach or in a luxury hair salon, holding it in a bathtub. So this was really the easiest way. So what is your process? Where do you even take your pictures? I take the pictures at home. So I just put a white background and then I use a tripod and then I just take the pictures like closer, like zoomed in or a little bit further. I try to find like a good lighting I don't even use a ring lamp, to be honest. I just try to take the pictures with a good daylight. And sometimes I also need to edit the lighting a little bit in photo room. You yeah. can dim down the lights a little bit or make it brighter to sort of mimic the studio lighting. So I have to do that sometimes just to get like a better effect. Have you used any other features on Photo Room besides AI background? Apart from AI background, I've used AI shadows. And there's like different type of shadows, right? I think there's like three or four uh, different tilted type of shadows that you can choose. So I just try to find the one that looks like it's more natural. And I also use the collage and I use that for Instagram stories and also resizing the photo because you're able to bring the product really up close or like further depending to what's your idea of the background. If I want to add my product 
on the shelves of a hair salon, I make it really small and then I AI generate the shelves in the hair salon and I put it somewhere further. Awesome. Thank you so much. You know what I want to do now? I want to go mm -hmm. and see if I can recreate your pictures because I think they're so good. That I you will be able. I'm sure you're an expert. I'm going to take something we have here and I'm going to try to recreate your pictures because I think they're so good. You will manage. I believe in you, Kaya. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so this is our studio for today. We're gonna shoot two things. Numero uno, this plate, and numero duo, Marco Polo tea because I do like to travel. Step number one, if you wanna do nice product shots, you need good light. And Eva told me that she just uses natural light, so that's also what we're gonna do here. That's why we chose this room, because as you can see, we have good natural light coming in here. So obviously, you want your product to face the light. Don't cover the light like this. Don't do this. Something important to say is that for me, it's really not about the gear. It's not about what camera you're using. I mean, we're gonna use iPhone. That's also what Eva uses. And I specifically chose these two things because I wanna show you how different objects sometimes require different angles. The number one thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna clean our lens. I know it might sound silly, but honestly, like it really makes a difference, especially when you're shooting on your phone because when you think about it, we keep touching these phones all the time. Try it out if you don't believe me, it does make a difference. Okay, step number two. So Eva told me that she sometimes uses tripods. I'm not gonna use tripods today. Uh, it depends. I mean, you can try different things out, but if you don't have a tripod, you can also just like stabilize your hand using whatever you, hand, you have really, like a table or a chair. With products like this one, hair care, tea, I would go for eye level angle, so that would be it, like this. Um, number one thing you wanna do is that you wanna focus on your product, and then for good quality, you can even zoom in a little to just have that really like good quality, crisp shot. Don't use the wide angle because that decreases the quality. That's a mistake, don't do it. Usually for products, details are what matters. So you really want to focus on your product. But if you, for example, shooting like the plate of fruits, right? This is best with top-down angle, which is basically this. Play with zoom again. Here we have nice focus. I feel like this is nice shot. Now you can see that this is a plate of apples, not aliens. So what a great tip from Eva is that she uses objects like flowers, for example, in her shots. So she puts some flowers when she's taking pictures and then she uses AI background, she uses photo room to generate more of these flowers or just to understand the vibe. That's also something good that photo room can do. You know, if you have a certain vibe a certain atmosphere that you're going for so let's say here i'm gonna go for like flower but these are dry flowers so i'm going for like full dry flower sunset you know like golden hour it works so well omg yum this is so good <laughs> see like that is such a good tip Okay, so now we have our pictures and what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna use photo room on my computer. The reason why I'm doing it is basically because Eva told me to do it. I just feel more comfortable editing the photos on my laptop. I can see the size of the photo better and really work on the details, but then later everything saves on the cloud, right? Because you have cloud storage on photo room. So then yeah. I can open my app on the phone and I can download the projects that I create. Let's go, Yan. We're gonna start with my tea jar picture. Photo will remove the background, and then you choose backgrounds, AI backgrounds, to generate your AI background. Oh, I really like the beach option. That looks cool, but this is not the vibe that I'm going for. So basically, if you kind of know what vibes you're going for, and I know that I want something more green, more like nature, not beach, you choose create background and you have three different options, image, assisted, and manual. And an image, you have pictures that you can use as inspirations. So let's see if there is something that I like. 
I do like this green nature. This is the vibes that we're going for. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see what other things we can do. Assisted here, we can choose one of the keywords that Photoroom is suggesting. So for example, a vintage suitcase, glass surface, a what else? A marble countertop. Marble is always a good idea. Let's 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 try to do marble with green details. Generate image. Oh, that is cool. We've got some black marble with green tree in the back. And always keep in mind that if you don't like it, just try to generate more. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. And each option is a little different, so you might find something better. Oh, I like this uh, reflection that it gives me. It makes it more natural. Cool. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this. Or should we try different options? I also like the water ones. It looks really cool. Nice. Okay, let's see what we can do with my plate of fruits. Or plate of aliens. Okay, we've got our plate of aliens background, AI background. Let's see what photo mold suggests. I don't like this color. Do we have something lighter? Oh, this is really cool. Blue background. Let's go for orange. That's really nice. Let's see what we can do if we try assisted. A rustic wooden table and forest landscape. That's a good vibe. Oh, this is really cool. Table with some natural light. I mean, honestly, you would not be able to tell that this is AI. If you want to do something crazy, let's say what crazy stuff could we do? Flowers. That is crazy. Oh, that's actually not so crazy. I like it. It's pretty. And you can basically customize it as much as you want. So let's say um, yellow flowers. Oh, I loved it. This is it, you guys. This is it. I got inspired by Eva today. And that was honestly so cool for me to see that someone that I know uses photo room for their business. So here are the final results. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I did. Or let me know if you think you should do better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have so many cool videos coming up. And if there's anything you would like us to talk about, if you have any questions about photo room, any issues, or you would like to see some tutorials on this channel, let us know. We'll make your wish come true. Bye.